So the Model Y has been seen all over the place at this point, and don't worry, the rest of this video is literally just going to be videos and photos of Model Ys spotted out in the wild. So there's not going to be a ton of my face, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't really know. But let me know in the comments below what you think of these pictures and videos of the Model Y and which color is your favorite, because we've seen all of the colors at this point out in the wild. And then on top of that, let me know what you think of the size, because I think a lot of people are going to see that the Model Y is actually quite a bit bigger than they realize. So here we go, and I'm going to put these sightings in chronological order and narrate along with them. All right, first up, we have the very first sighting of the Model Y in public, as far as I can tell, and this was in April of 2019, and Tesla put this on display for employees in Fremont, California. And these photos were posted by a few different Reddit and Instagram users. And basically these photos just really emphasize the different front end as compared to the Model 3. And then the very small back seats that you can see right here, that third row. Alright, next up was when at the annual shareholder meeting in June of 2019, the Tesla Model Y was featured next to the Semi and the Roadster. So they were putting on display all the cars they haven't come out with yet. And these photos are courtesy of Vincent13031925 on Twitter, as well as at S-O-F-I-A-A-N on Twitter, Sophian, I believe, and then also Tesla Raj. And basically this was the first time we saw the red Model Y in person. And we got to see it next to the Roadster, and I think it kind of holds its own, especially sitting next to a $250,000 car. But yeah, you can see the full chrome delete, those very cool black wheels as well. And these close-up images are pretty good, and it's the best we've seen so far of the red version. And it was actually, as I mentioned, the first time we saw the red version in public. Then in May of 2019, ChargePoint posted a Model Y sighting in their Twitter, and it looks like it might have been at one of their chargers. In October of 2019, there was a video posted on Tesla Fan of a Model Y spotted near Palo Alto and taken on a dash cam, and they were so short that I'm playing them twice and in slow motion. But at the time, this was really the first time seeing the Model Y truly out in public on a road, so it was very exciting and big news. Then later in October, Tesla Owners Online posted this photo on Twitter with a bunch of Model Ys being transported, and you notice that it's chrome delete, but the trim is actually still chrome, so that's an interesting thing, and the wheels we hadn't seen before as well. Then a few days later, the Model Y was spotted also in Palo Alto, but this time in Midnight Silver Metallic, and it has chrome delete, as well as the Power Sports Aero wheels, and these are wheels that are only available in China for the Model 3, so that's interesting. And then a few days after that, at Brian Armour posted this video on Twitter, and it's normal traffic conditions, but this was in Washington State. And then if you take a freeze of that video, you can see the Model Y next to the Mercedes GLA 250, and they look to be fairly similar in size. And then again, around this time, another sighting happened in Washington with photos at a supercharger, but this time it was covered, and those come from Seamus Johnson. Even though it's completely covered, you can really see that this is definitely not a Model 3. It's a lot bigger, and overall it just looks like a crossover SUV. Of course, you can see in that photo that you can see the side of it, and you can see these different wheels and everything, but it's a lot bigger. And then a Model Y was spotted out in Bay City, Michigan by Detroit underscore KP313, a Reddit member who caught a video of it overtaking him, as you just saw, and then a photo of it supercharging. And then it's notable that that is about 2,400 miles away from the factory. And then around the same time, a midnight silver metallic Model Y was caught next to a Model 3 at a supercharger, so it showcases the difference in size. And then you can also see the hatch door open, even though it's not quite the best view. Then another Model Y was spotted at Gigafactory 1 over in Nevada, and this time it was in bright red, and these were posted by at Tesla owners of MA on Twitter, and I like these photos because they really show how big the back of the car is. Alright, next up is the best extended video that I've seen of the Model Y to date, because this was recorded by at KenKen380 on Reddit, and it was with his Model 3 dash cam, he happened to be driving by one, and you can see the Model Y in Midnight Silver Metallic, and this was spotted in San Jose. So what I like most about this video is that the Model Y is seen next to a bunch of other cars. Granted, size comparisons from this angle aren't the most accurate, but it still gives you an, a good idea of how big or how small this car truly is. And so right here you can see it just driving along the freeway, and that's right next to a BMW X5. 
and the Model 3, as you can see on the right, just overtook it. And so it's pretty exciting to see this out on the road and get a really long extended video of this. I'm going to keep this playing for a little bit, and now you can see it pulling up next to a Mazda that is going to overtake it as well. And all these different SUVs and crossover vehicles and compact cars just really show you the size difference here. Especially coming up right now, it looks like it's about to line up with the Model 3. You can see how much taller this car really is. It doesn't really look like a Model 3 at all. It looks like it in design and everything, but it's way bigger. And especially next to that Lexus sedan as well, you can see that it's a much bigger car. And here comes what I believe is a Honda Accord next to it. And you can see this definitely is not a compact car or a sedan. It's going to totally fit into that crossover SUV market. And that was something I was concerned about. It looked so similar to the Model 3 when it was first announced that it was kind of like, is this truly a crossover vehicle? But I think it definitely is. You can even see it next to that Jeep Patriot right there. And it looks like it's almost the same height. It's obviously not the same length and everything, and it's not going to compete with a full SUV like that. But it's definitely big in size, and it has a lot of storage capacity inside that I can't wait to utilize when I get mine. This also showcases the really cool feature of having the dash cam access on a Tesla because this person is in a Model 3 and they basically have a built-in video camera. As long as they keep following this Model Y, they can keep getting shots of it next to all the different cars and all these scenarios on the road, and they can just pull those clips later, and no matter what happens, they have those clips. And here now we've switched to the side view, which you can see the Model Y pulling up next to it, and it's really just great that you can get all these different angles just by using the dash cam that's built into your Model 3 because it's using all of these cameras all at once. And of course, the Model Y is going to have this same exact suite of cameras and the same exact access to all of these clips as well. And so here it is. You can see the front end looks a lot like a Model 3. But again, you can see it next to that Honda Accord, and you can tell that it's definitely bigger than what a Model 3 is. So now I'll freeze frame some of the size comparisons, and this is it next to a Model 3, and then here it is next to the BMW X5, and then it's going to be next to a Mazda SUV, not sure which one that is, and then it's got a couple other sedans, so a Lexus sedan, and then we have a Ford truck right here that it's next to, and then last up, a Jeep Patriot. So you can see fairly similar height there. Before we go any further, make sure to hit that like button and also the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all the Model Y and Tesla videos I'm bringing out every single week. All right, back to the Model Y sightings. So a few days after the last one I showed you, we saw a red Model Y with a bunch of test equipment on it, and that was posted by Reddit member the underscore Xenoside, and here it is in slow motion, just so you can see. It's really great to see all this real-life testing going on. All right, next up is a Model Y in white, which is exciting because that's the one I ordered, and it's exciting to see it out in the wild. And this was posted by Garrick8 on Reddit, and it's exciting right here to see it next to a Honda CRV because that's a pretty good comparison to a very common car. And we can see these unreleased wheels as well. Here's what they looked like at the Model 3 event, but then we never saw them again until this sighting. And now on to the Model Y in Florida, out near the Kennedy Space Center, presumably doing some long-range testing. And there's not much info here other than it's black and it looks awesome. And then around this same time, a Model Y was spotted out in Barstow at a supercharger that is usually a stop between LA and Las Vegas. And the Reddit user Choo Choo Sparky posted this, and he managed to get a pretty good close up as it was pulling away from the supercharger. Then in December, a video of the Model Y on display resurfaced on social media, and it gives us a little glimpse into the third row of seats. But not much can really be assessed by seeing this video or even by freeze framing. You can kind of see those back seats, but it's pretty hard to tell, other than it really looks like these are basically only gonna fit children. So here I'm gonna freeze frame the seats for you so that you can see right here, there they are. It barely looks existent, and then you can see it right there kind of closer up. It looks like there's gonna be no headroom whatsoever. Around this time, Matt D. Gonzalez on Reddit posted pictures of a blue Model Y at a supercharger, and this time it featured a tow hitch, which is a feature that Elon has hinted at, but we haven't seen confirmed about the Model Y. Hopefully that tow hitch will be an option because Elon has mentioned it on Twitter, but we haven't gotten full confirmation. But now we're moving on to an exciting drone video of the Model Y out on a test track, and this was taken by at 
looking underscore underscore closer on Twitter. And then the video you'll see after this is from analyst Trip Chowdhury, and it's taken from the side of the test track. But overall, we can just see the performance happening. This probably is a performance version of the Model Y, and it has that signature Tesla performance of that really quick takeoff. You can see it right here. It's going to go from nothing and then take off just like all Teslas do, probably the performance version of the Model Y, and very impressive, especially for a crossover SUV. And as I've been showing you, a fairly large crossover SUV, bigger than a lot of people are realizing. Then someone posting on Tesla Owners East Bay drove by a Model Y at the Walnut Creek Superchargers, and here it is in slow motion, just a quick drive-by shot. And then we have a white Model Y spotted by a couple different people out in San Luis Obispo. And these photos were posted by Grant Cassingham. And right here, you can really see how much taller those windows are on the Model Y than the Model 3 next to it. All right, next is a black Model Y spotted by John Krause in Florida. And it also uses those unreleased Model 3 wheels that we saw previously. To celebrate the end of 2019, a Model Y performance with red calipers was spotted in Washington along with San Francisco. So the video credit here goes to the YouTube account Daily Night Society. And the following photos are credited to Eric at eWalt25 on Twitter. So notably, this version is the second confirmed sighting of the Model Y with dual motors. And this one features complete chrome delete. I think the black with the full chrome delete looks really great and with those red calipers and it even looks great with those wheels. I think the performance version of the Model Y is going to look really, really awesome. If you look at the slope of the hood, to me that looks a lot steeper than what the Model 3 has. And that's interesting and it could lead to added visibility since the ride height is a little higher and then if it slopes a little further you could have a little bit better visibility and then we know the all glass roof has an even more panoramic roof than the Model 3 so it could lead to really really great visibility and views from inside the Model Y itself. And then here are those photos from eWalt25 on Twitter where he spotted the Model Y in San Francisco. And then Redditor GameRike noticed a Model Y covered and he measured it and he said that it's about 65 inches in height which is notably about 1 inch shorter than the Model X and about 8 inches taller than the Model 3 if his measurements are accurate. And then around the same time a Model Y on a truck was spotted by at JZPCHEN on Twitter and it's notable that these have full chrome delete and the wheels that we've seen in other prototypes but not in actual production and it's probably the most production ready version of the Model Y we've seen yet. Shortly after this, a Model Y was spotted in San Mateo, California in blue by Avi Horowitz, whose video was posted on Electric. So notable for this prototype is the wheels. They aren't wheels that we've seen before, and they pretty much look totally different than anything we've seen. We don't know exactly what these wheels are, but Electrek hypothesizes that these are actually aftermarket wheels. Even though it's really odd to see aftermarket wheels in a prototype, they really don't think they're Tesla wheels because they're completely different than anything we've seen from Tesla and anything we've seen on any other prototypes of the Model Y. So there you can see those wheels totally different than anything we've seen before. And then lastly is the longest and closest video we've seen of the Model Y to date. And it was taken by Twitter user Zach at BLKMDL3. And in my opinion, and the opinion of many on Twitter, if you watch the full thing, he's pretty rude to the employee driving the prototype and a little too intrusive getting his video, but he did apologize on Twitter and I've cut it up so we can see the best shots of the video. The final shot is of them trying to put a Model 3 next to it for a size comparison, but she pulls away right away because she knows exactly what's happening. She knows she's not really supposed to be revealing this prototype to everyone, but it looks like this is that same prototype that we saw. And this one, it was in Burbank, but it's the same one that we probably saw in San Mateo. And it's got those different wheels, but yeah, as you can see this video, he's, he's kind of just following the car the whole time. He even runs over right here to try to get a close-up shot as she's backing it up. And she clearly notices and she clearly works for Tesla. And maybe she wasn't supposed to be supercharging because maybe she was supposed to plan a route better and keep this car private since it's not actually released yet and it's a prototype and they don't want everyone to be seeing it like this. But we don't know the exact scenario of what happened, and he did apologize for being so intrusive on getting this video. 
but it is the best video we've seen, definitely the biggest close-up, and there's a good photo of the Model 3 next to the Model Y that I'm going to get to in a second that he took as well. So here's a close-up on those wheels that we saw before, and then here is that Model 3 trying to pull up next to the Model Y, but she quickly figures it out and she pulls away right at the exact moment when they were trying to do this. And so these photos are also by Zach at BLKMDL3 on Twitter, and got some really good quality photos that I'm going to show you right here. But there it is pulling away, and now to the photos. Here we go. So the back end, and it also has that dual motor badge, probably a release candidate. And then here's another photo of the back. Looks really, really beautiful, and you can see the full size of that hatchback. It's really large. And then here it is next to a Model S. You can see it's quite a bit taller than the Model S. And then here we see another image, and this time it's next to the Model 3, and you can see those are definitely not the same car. And you can really see that big difference with this photo posted on Reddit by Skaterpunk, where the mirrors of the Model Y are actually coming about halfway up the window on a Model 3, so quite a bit taller. And lastly, to finish out this video, here is a quick compilation of all the rest of the videos and pictures I could find of the Model Y on Twitter and throughout the rest of the internet. So these credits go to OMG underscore Tesla, uh, Tesla Economics, at Guglielo, at Tesla Dylan, at Phil Beta Kitten, at Super Mantabody, at Tesla Evangelist, at Dario Kazani, and then Tuttle123 on Reddit, and then at Sir John S. Gresham, then at SF Tesla Club, at Alvin Fu, and then lastly at Tesla Owners SV. So we've seen every color of the Model Y in the wild. Coincidence? Probably not. It seems like Tesla is aggressively testing this car and is most likely going to beat their already moved up production of summer of 2020, and I really can't wait to see that happen. I also can't wait to spot one myself. I live in Los Angeles, and when I saw that one was in Burbank spotted, I got really excited. Maybe I'm going to see this. I also traveled up for the holidays up north, and I was hoping to see one, and I was looking all over for one. Definitely didn't see one, and you know, that's just how it goes. But here's another awesome video of it from right on the side. It just looks really amazing, especially in the city. And this one is especially good because you can see it right there next to a Subaru Outback, which is a really popular crossover. And then here it is, another video of it in black on the freeway next to a few other cars. Right there is a Volvo, and then you can see it next to a Mini Cooper. You can see that it's definitely bigger than that Mini Cooper. And then from the side, it's got the full chrome delete. It also looks like it has a little bit of wear on the side because it's probably been doing a lot of long-range testing. And that guy is definitely driving with autopilot on, right? It looks like it, for sure. And then we have just a couple more photos, one of it in white and then another one of it in red, as you can see right here, and then the final walk around of it in red. It's really beautiful. You can see all the details. You can see those different wheels that we haven't seen before, and the full detail of that hatchback. It's got the dual motor badge as well. It's got that full chrome delete on all around, not just the handles, and it's got that sloped front that looks a lot different than the Model 3 when you really pay attention to it. And yeah, I just can't wait for this car. I think it's going to be a lot bigger than most people realize and really going to fit into the crossover market. By the way, if you're watching this and wondering why some of the dialogue might seem old or seem like I didn't know about these wheels right here, these new Gemini wheels, which we now know are confirmed, it's because I made this video a long time ago and then it got pulled. So I'm just updating it a little bit and reposting it so people can see these sightings. And these images are from last name Ty on Reddit. And then to finish up the video, here is one great image of the Model Y next to the Model X, and you can see that size comparison, and that comes from Samer Shahadi on Twitter, if I pronounce that right. And then we have one last video of the Model Y driving along the freeway, and that is from the SF Tesla Club, and it really just looks beautiful. I cannot wait for this car. So what do you think of the Model Y? Leave a comment below. I personally love it and I can't wait to get mine. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can see all the Model Y updates I'm going to be bringing out, especially when I actually get my car. And I really appreciate you watching this video, especially if you made it to the end, because this one was especially long. If you made it to the end, maybe leave a comment below and say, made it to the end, because props to you. That's very impressive. And I really appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.